Hey everyone, uh, just a quick video today about connecting your iPad to your legacy MIDI keyboard. So in this case, I'll connect uh, my iPad running AudioKit's Digital D1 synthesizer into my Roland uh, D50 synthesizer. Now to get this done, you'll need some gear, of course. So the first connection I've made is using a standard lightning cable into this iConnect MIDI box. Now this MIDI box can be connected to other devices as well, as so it has a mini USB lead. So you can actually change it to have a USB in as well, if you use it with an Android device. And from here, it terminates into two legacy, there we go, plugs. So that's legacy MIDI. And that's running into my little Motu. So this is a Motu Micro Express unit. And also running into the Motu is uh, the D50, using these two uh, legacy plugs as well. So we have MIDI from the D50 and MIDI from the iPad running into the Motu. Now we of course need audio as well. So on the audio side of things, I have this really simple three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which terminates into two mono full-size jacks. And I'll grab one if I can. There we go. Pretty basic stuff. Now, of course, you still need to uh, convince your DAW to work with this. So let's get to the DAW part. Um, uh, I'm running Reaper, so I'll just clear it up here so we can start anew. I will not screen capture because I'm lazy. So first step is to make a new track. I hope it doesn't interlace too much. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, and we want to receive the audio in from the iPad, which on my audio card is in 3 and 4. Put it into monitoring mode, put it into record mode. So, if all goes well, I can now play the iPad. And I get audio, and not too much focus, there we go. <laughs> so the next step is getting the MIDI from the D50 into the iPad. So we make a new track, which is MIDI in. Now I have my D50 connected to the second part on the Moto device. So I select the second, I select once again monitoring, record, and then we need to route it. And in routing, you may have noticed, that is actually ca called port 1 on the Moto. So we can say here, you take anything you receive and you send it into port number one. So now if I press a key on my D50, let's back away a little. And you can also see on the Motu. Now there's just one little thing with the D50, not all synthesizers have this, but the D50 does have this thing that is a bit of an issue. Uh, and that is when you uh, lay off any of the, the keys, if there's no key pressed at all, it will send an old MIDI off message and some synthesizers don't like that. So what I always add to the MIDI track is a little, if I can type, there we go. MIDI event filter and this MIDI event filter filters out the 1, 2, 3 CC and for some reason I've changed <laughs> the sound of So that's 
pretty cool and it's a pretty simple way to integrate it. Now you might also want to control your iPad with a non-legacy, so let's just do that as well. I don't know if I have it turned on. No, I don't know. That's the problem of not preparing for anything. Uh, let's just jump quickly into the mini settings and there we go. Cool. So let's say you want to control your iPad with a non-legacy device. Like, for instance, I should have here my oxygen. So I can once again just select the oxygen as input, route it to port 1 of the Motu. Now I can control the iPad with the oxygen. So there you go, two options. You control your iPad synthesizers with uh, legacy MIDI and slightly less legacy MIDI. I hope you enjoy the video. Until next time.